What is up everyone? JD here. Hope you're doing well today. Got a mail call. Let's get into it. All right, so we got a package here from White Mountain Knives. I know exactly what this is, and I'm really excited to jump into it. It is a brand that I discovered this year that I very much enjoyed. And as you can see here by the box, this is a Migron knife. I had the Valona, I've had the Moriarl, and I've had the Pagos 2 in. And I am very excited to check this one out. I thought I had cut the tape away, but I forgot that this is wrapped, or I didn't realize this was wrapped. So we'll go ahead and bring out the Sogbuster 2. This one came with an awful edge from the factory, but with the fresh edge on there, it is nice and slicey. I just threw this on my Ken Onion just for a quick edge to throw on it since it's more of a companion carry, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. It is more of a traditional slip joint knife, no half stop, just open and close it and i really like this bone pattern on here really pretty pattern but that's not what we're here to check out we're here to check out this guy this is the amigaron where is the name oh it's it's knocked off so my editor is going to have to throw that up on there and i don't want to mispronounce it but this is one of the uh more upscale versions from migaron that we're checking out today you get a nice microfiber cloth and it is wrapped inside of a wrapped box with a little bit of troll candy there for anyone that likes that sort of stuff but let's bust in here and have a look at this it was a very interesting model i've seen it around and thought i would check it out it had all the call signs of something that would be very interesting to me and it is very well lubed up from the factory so we'll just dry that off and have a closer look at this migaron i wish i could remember the name it's like the carrier kyer something like that i'm sure i'm way off but very nice looking knife it is a little bit on the smaller side i would uh side i would call it more medium than full size um and probably even smaller than on the medium so more like a medium size knife you got a front flipper with opening hole you have textured titanium here for that micro milling for additional grip which was very interesting to me as well titanium backspacer titanium pocket clip i believe the hardware is steel which is how they're able to keep some of the cost down yeah you can feel it pulling on the magnet yep yep so steel hardware but all the hard uh steel hardware but all of the parts for the body including the backspacer and pocket clip those are all titanium i'd want it with the gray one and you see here it just has the mingeron embroidered on the pivot on the opposite side you have a little titanium collar that's been anodized and uh, it is a good looking knife nice and centered let's give her a go good detent about what i've been expecting from migaron this one here m390 if i recall correctly the heat treat on this coming in at 60 to 62 which isn't the best for m390 but it's not the worst i've seen m390 heat treated at so you got a good heat treat on there lots of lube here <laughs> from the factory you have about i'd call that a 40 percent lockup looking pretty good there tight access to that lock bar but it's good enough to get in there in between the frame and it definitely needs to be broken in this feels uh it feels really tight it doesn't want to fall shut let me give it a couple of flips and see actually the detent feels like it could be tuned a little bit it's a little on the light side so i might strengthen up that lock bar but the deployment hole works just fine and that front flipper works just fine Edge termination is carried way out, way, way out. And actually, I'm wondering if I zoom in, if you're going to see a smile or if it's actually going to be, it looks like it might be curving up a little bit here to the naked eye, but I'll try to zoom in when I get to this part for that. But that edge termination, it goes way out. They need to bring that back a little bit, I feel like. Ergonomically, it is a four finger knife, but the nice thing about this one, what I and what drew me to it, and what I like about it is that it has a four finger choil here. So, full forward finger choil, you can choke up and get nice purchase on there. The thickness on here makes this feel nice in hand. This is a good size EDC, it feels like it's about the size of the bug out. 
So I will do all my homework and get everything ready to go for a full review on this one. This is just a little bit of a sneak peek. And uh, let's just really quickly check. I'm curious to see if just a quick adjustment to that pivot will bring some action back to that. Because normally my Migron knives come really well done. No blade play. Um and really smooth action right out of the box so it's a little unusual to get one that's not done like that it's a lot out of character out of the what did i say the valona the moriarl the pagos and this one being the fourth so one out of four not being what i'm accustomed to seeing for the tune from migaron so i'm just going to try to lightly move that pivot out just a little bit still centered Good action. No, it is it is just tight. Yeah. Side to side. No side to side. Let me try to break it, take it out just a smidge more. I mean it moved, but it barely moved. Let's see. Okay, that was a lot of movement. No play. There we go. Yeah, and I bet. Mm, I bet. No, it's still pretty tight. Let me see. Yeah, no side to side. That was a lot of movement on that uh, last adjustment. All right, that was a little. No play. Yeah, I think it just needs to be backed out a little bit more. Probably needs to be cleaned and relubed. Also, it could be it's pretty hot here today, and I don't know how much of a factor that was. This legit just came out of the mailbox and went straight to this video for the edit. It could be that it's just been sitting out in the sun in the black mailbox all day, and that could be a factor. Let's see here. No play. There we go. So it just needed to be tuned a little bit more, I think. Yeah, so that will be coming up on the channel. Thanks to everyone out there that is a member, because these are member only. I may in the future, um, after they've been member only for a little while, maybe like for a couple weeks, because they would still come out ahead of the actual reviews, I might publish them, like push them out to publish. And actually, I think I owe you guys one. I believe I have one out there right now that I need to go online and publish for the members to be able to see um, and get that early bird access to that. So the review will be coming. Let me know if there's anything you want to know specific about this one. When I go back to do the review for this, I'll also do the disassembly. So I'll be able to get the skiff information for you at the time of the review for this particular one. But it's a good looking little model and it feels about the size of the bug out. If I had to just quick off the cuff say what it was like. And the only thing that I really have with me is actually the companion carry. Um, which is going to, oh, that's not true. I got my main carry in the pocket too. The Sogbuster Jr. No, the Sog, I think it's just the Sogbuster. Um, this might be the Jr. Gosh, I can't remember. Um, and then really quick against the Tactile Knife Maverick, which is a full size, just slender. Thanks and shout out to everyone out there that is a member that is like and subscribed. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, peace.